Now it's time to edit the header builder. With Woodmart header builder, you can easily customize the top part of your website and put any elements you want to see there. Choose from elements library like menus, logo, cart, and wish list, HTML block, social button, and many more. And you can rearrange them in any order you need to customize their style. So go to Woodmart header builder. It allows you to edit them create new ones, import, delete or mark some header as default one for your website. And here you can see, now click on the header builder. To edit it, and here you can see the header builder interface is opening. There is the two mode in the header builder front-end editor and the back-end editor if you want to open the front-end editor and here you can see woodmart header builder and edit current header and this is the front-end mode of the header builder in woodmart theme and you can easily add and remove the elements and see the effects in live but this is the back-end mode of the header builder when you edit your header with the header builder, you can see an area with three rows that contains three columns each. They represent three parts of your website header top bar, main header and header bottom part. All of these columns are drag and drop containers area so you can add any element inside them and simply drag and drop them between columns. In such a way, you can compose any kind of layout and set any other for your header content elements. So, Click on the any row to edit it and this is the header bottom settings. The header row settings is the same for the both desktop and mobile. So in the style tab you can change the background color, you can change the width, add the width and add shadow. And this is the main header settings and this is the top bar setting. You can simply disable the rows for specific devices like desktop and mobile and change the background color. If you want to edit any elements, you need to click on the edit button and this is the logo elements. To show the logo, it is necessary to add the element to any row column and upload the image. The logo elements provide the option to upload different images for the static header and for the sticky header. In addition, there is the option to set the logo width. The height is adjusted automatically. So this is the sticky header logo. You can upload different header for the main header and the sticky header. If the overall logo image aspect ratio is larger than the header row height, then the logo width increase will be ignored. So in this case, you need to increase the header row height for this mobile. Each header part has three columns and their width property may be set in two variants, flexible middle column and equal right and left column. The first is called flexible middle column and it is by default for all rows and the second one is equal right and left column. This layout has always right and left column equally and then take all the free space in that row. So this is the main header style. You can add some shadow in the header row. And uh, this is the navigation. This is the information box. If you want to edit this, you need to edit the information box elements in the header builder and change the content. So I want to customize some content. This is coming from the demo and, and, and I want to change it. And here you can add the button text and make this text as clickable and change the other style option and another heading is worldwide and i want to edit it this is the information box and and here is the content is added this content is coming from the demo you will style it as per your requirements And this is the sticky navigation in the Woodmart theme. 
if you want to edit the sticky navigation so in this case you need to go to products categories first this is the main menu this is the main menu and this is the main menu in the header builder you need to click on edit it and this is the main menu the demo is using header menu main navigation so for this you need to go to appearance menus so navigate to appearance menus and this is the header menu manga electronics and this is these are the main menus are added in this demo you can add it new menus and remove the demo menus as per your requirements now i want to remove some elements and add new main menu so i want to remove some elements you need to expand the menu item and simply remove it so now i want to add some new menu items in the menu then click on the add to menu you can simply drag and drop to arrange the menu items i want to remove some demo menus from the main menu simply remove it and then save the menu then if i go to the website and this is style tab and here you can change the style of the menu items and set the alignments and set the menu gap width and background overlay and then save the option and these are the menu items in the header bottom these are the header right menu so navigate to appearance menu and choose the header right menu and select this menu and these are the menu items added in the header bottom not the language switcher if you want to add language switcher you need to use the third party plugin for this so these are the menu item and, and i want to remove it and then save the header and then if you go to refresh the page and here you can see and these menu items are removed so these are my main navigation if you want to change the color of the main navigation so you need to go to woodmart theme settings typography and add custom selector like um, main navigation links and these are the card setting in the header builder you can set the icon designs and icon type you can add custom icon for this for the header responsive settings you need to click on the mobile header header builder has two different areas to add your element for desktop and mobile devices the area for large devices is applied for device resolution starting from like 10 20 pixel in width used for laptop desktop and other larger screen and another one is for 124 pixel and smaller it is for tablet in vertical and horizontal made and for smartphones you can switch between those two areas using the desktop layout and mobile layout button in the header builder so this is the mobile mode in the header builder and these are the two menus this one is the categories menus and other is the mobile menu if you want to remove the categories menus you need to edit the mobile menu in the header builder and disable the option show categories menus and here you can change the custom type tab title from the categories and the main menus and here you can choose the menu for categories menu and th these are set product categories in categories menus and also you can set the menu to change the order and in the style tab you can choose the sub menu opening action like arrow and label and arrow click when you choose arrow click you need to click on the arrow to open the sub menu items after that these are the icons these are the categories the icon are added in the appearance menus you can remove it 
or you can change it from the appearance menus and these are the account settings and this is a global header setting it brings a general setting pop-up that contains some basic option for the header builder like make it overlap make the header full width and drop down dark and sticky header shadow and the sticky effects of the header builder and then save the option and save the header The header builder offers two types of header, default and custom header and you can set different header for different pages and save the option you can here you can choose the different header for different pages in the woodmark theme.